Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Sermons in a Cessna. Now, looking at today's gospel, I kind of wanted to wait to do it today rather than yesterday, because it's kind of the same thing. So, today's gospel comes from Luke. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on, on the Sabbath, and a woman who was there for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. And when Jesus saw her, he called her and said, Woman, you are set free of, in your, of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, There are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites, does not each of one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? The daughter Abraham, whom Satan has bound for eighteen years now, ought she not to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? We had said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. Now you see here, in this gospel, just like Bartimaeus, not only do we have an example of physical healing, but we have the, a reception of God's grace and God's love for us. Now, if you were paying attention to the gospel yesterday, the main takeaway was stand up, go, and work for me, more or less. And if you think, if you think about that, it kind of really puts a damper into what our discernment life ought to be. Are we called to be a priest? Are we called to be married? What What is our calling? So these Gospels, the ending messages, they kind of help us set a clear path. Not really, not really like as a, you must do this, but really more of a, I have an idea of what we, if we should be doing sort of thing. So, I want you all to think about that in your discernment and and think about those two Gospels, today and yesterday, with the healing of Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, and see how you could apply that to your life. See how can you, you can make somebody's day just a little bit better. And may the Holy Word of God that we have heard continually increase our faith. Amen.